Okay, do you know what time it is? It's time to talk about that ban hammer. Is it banless season? I don't know. Why? Because Konami doesn't release dates for their ban list anymore, but hey, I have cards in mind that need to be hit with that ban hammer. Okay, and spoiler alert, Dante is not on this list. This is my top six, not my only six, just my top six cards. I feel absolutely must be addressed in order to make this game remotely balanced. Just say, Dante's not on this list. And the reason it's not on this list is because Ghost Reaper went to Cherries. Basically, you have the ability to custom ban Dante from whatever duel you're in. Yes, it requires luck to draw the card. I'm the last one who should be talking about luck. But even I, when I draw this card, auto win against Burning Abyss. At least if it's like turn one, okay? Like, they have no plays afterwards. They've dedicated like, I want to say eight cards in their extra deck to Dante plays. And when you take away three Dantes, they're only left with like half an extra deck to beat your entire deck. It just doesn't happen, okay? So for that reason alone, Dante didn't make the top six. It's still on a, you know, theoretical list or whatever. It just doesn't make the top six, all right? So number six, all right, let's start this off. Cosmo Town, all right? Yes, Cosmo Town. Not Dark Lady, not Dark Destroyer, not Tin Can, not Cosmo Joe, not Slip Rider, Cosmo Town. Not Dark Planet, Cosmo Town. And the reason it's Cosmo Town is simple. Cosmo Town is the only reason Cosmo is a consistent deck. Period. Period. If Cosmo Town was not at three, you would see a lot less of. Oh, turn one, shuffle half of my hand into my deck, draw into emergency teleport, summon Tin Can in the end phase. Oh, mid game, shuffle half of my hand into my deck, top deck into Twin Twister, OTKU. Oh, late game, take back my Tin Can, banish it, summon my Dark Destroyer that's otherwise a dead draw. Why is this card at three? It's a plus one every turn. I'm looking at you, Chicken Game. I'm looking at you, Cleefort Scout. Why is this card at three? It's a Rhoda. I'm looking at you. Rhoda, come on. You've got to be joking me. It's a searchable plus one every single turn for free. It's a mulligan every single turn for free. And if it dies, it replaces itself with another copy of anything you want for free. Wow. And on top of all of that, if you draw a second copy, you can activate it and do it twice. Why is this at three? And it's just annoying when you see them put back like three Dark Destroyers and like two Slip Riders from their opening six cards. It's like, you should have lost this duel. You really should have. Your inconsistent deck bricked, but you drew Cosmo Town. So that's where the balance comes in. You limit how much they can abuse this card, this searchable, stupid card that other cards get hit for doing exactly what it does. I will gladly twin twister this card every single time. I will take the nag. I will take a nag one. I'll take a nag two just to twin twister this card because you know what? If you don't get plus ones every single turn for the rest of the duel, it evens out and it evens out amazingly. All right, I don't care what you search. You can't get another one. That means when you activate a lure of darkness, you actually have to think about what you banish because Cosmo Town isn't your get out of jail free card. You understand? It means if you're gonna run a card like Dark Planet, you actually have to think about if you really wanna banish three monsters to summon that stupid card. All right, so there you go. You gotta think if you want to actually banish Dark Destroyer or leave it in the grave for a Call of the Haunted play. You gotta think. Because you don't have your get out of jail free card anymore. You are gonna actually have to build a consistent deck that doesn't crutch itself on Cosmo Town because if Cosmo Town dies, your deck needs to be able to perform. All right, you can't just rely on one card fixing all your mistakes for you. Limit Cosmo Town. Moving on, we got two, two cards from number five. These cards are tied, all right? Number one, Cyframe Omega. Number two, Erebus the Underworld Monarch. What do these two have in common? I'm not talking about their attack points. I'm not talking about that level eight status. I'm talking about the ability to take away cards out of your opponent's hand on the first turn of the game. This is a problem, okay? One of the rules says your opponent starts with five cards. Basic rule of the game, your opponent gets to start with a full hand. Now you throw in one of these cards 
And basically what these cards say is, your opponent does not get to start with a full hand. So what does that mean? It means it literally breaks the rules. This is broken. You understand? If one of the rules says one thing, and a card completely does the opposite, it is broken by definition. So, if I don't get to start with a hand because you looped Omega like four times, and then summoned a Trish as a last card or whatever, and the only reason you're going so neg to summon Trish is because Omega already looped like four cards out of my hand, but I digress. If you're gonna loop my hand with Omega, or if you're gonna do some cheesy play with Erebus, put your Pot of Greed slash Rota in the graveyard, put your freaking, you know, Treeborn Frog or Mizuki card, whatever you wanna call Prime Monarch in the graveyard, on top of that untargeting spinning, then you don't deserve to be at three. That's way too consistent. I would rather my opponent summon Aether or whatever her name is, you know, as Token Black would say, big white bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm moving on, but still, I'd rather you summon that card as your turn one play. Why? That card gives me a chance. All right, that card doesn't say, oh, I hope they don't hit the one twin twister in my hand. I need to get rid of their domain. Otherwise, I can't play Yu-Gi-Oh. It doesn't say, oh, I don't hit, hope they hope they don't hit the one Regeki or Dark Hole in my hand to get rid of their tribute summon monster. Otherwise, I can't play Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, it promotes more thought and it decreases the luck factor. Limit Erebus and Cypher Omega you should not be able to loop cards out of your opponent's hand. Windups got hit for it, Gishki got hit for it, Trishula got hit for it, Slash Infernities got hit for it. If you're gonna do that, hit Omega. It's only fair, hit Omega. Omega can put itself back in the extra deck. Sounds fair to me. Limit Omega, limit Erebus, whatever its name is. These cards don't deserve to be at three. Any card that attacks your opponent's hand consistently, I don't think deserves to be at three. At all. Next, we got Twin Twisters. You already know what I, how I feel about Twin Twisters. One, it creates a stigma. It highly discourages back row play. I'm an OTK player. I run triple Twin Twister in basically every deck I've built since it came out. And do you know what happens? When I draw a Twin Twister and activate it, and then I flip my spammy OTK cards, I win the game. And that is unbalanced. You have to understand, that is unbalanced. Even if it only happens one out of every three duels, that is, that's too much. That's too much. I shouldn't just have a one out of three chance of just blowing you out of the game because you have no defense. On top of blowing people out because it eliminates back row so well, it creates a stigma for people not even to play that much back row. And this is on a higher competitive level, not a lower one. On top of that, the discard, it's way too convenient. There, There's way too many ways to abuse that discard in my opinion. I could list them out for you. That would take literally hours, all right? Because there's, there's like 6,000 cards in this game and I, can't, I don't have the time to tell you all the interactions between them. Because in today's game, with today's decks, it's just way too easily taken advantage of. The stigma creates isn't healthy for the game because it flips from a, oh, I hate back row stigma to an, oh, I hate getting blown out by an OTK stigma. And I feel those are just as bad as each other. And the last thing is it's a quick play, uh, which further increases its blowout potential. If this card was a trap card, or a normal spell card, or you couldn't conduct your battle phase, or it had a life point cost. You know, like, if it, if, if it was something like that, then it would be fine. But as the way it, it is now, it has to be two max, two maximum. Lower the consistency, revive back row a little bit, everyone still gets to use it. I just think it's more balanced that way. I think this has to happen. Twin Twister's way too good at three. All right, at three, at three, next. We got Solemn Strike. Um, I've said this a thousand times, I'll say it a thousand and one times. Solemn should not be at four, all right? Three max. Pendulum support already makes these cards searchable, all right? You can't have warning and triple strikes. It's too much, too much consistency, especially if you hit Twin Twister. Cannot be at three. One, one strike, one warning, and then play some other back row that aren't counter traps so that your opponent can actually respond to your plays, all right? You get two plays per game where your opponent cannot stop them in the form of solemns balanced that is fine because at any point in time it could be a song but once those two get out of the way you know your opponent can then start thinking ahead they don't have to worry about this overpowered card stopping everything they do all the time and the last card if you couldn't guess already ban this card straight up ban card of demise ban ban card of demise all right ban it it's stupid it shouldn't be at three you know it 
see, see here's the thing about card of demise okay at three it's way too consistent at two it's still a problem at one it's straight up sacky can you imagine oh i opened card of demise you didn't open card of demise okay i win wow that's that's fun that's fair that's not like six cents at all but at zero ooh, beautiful no one has to worry about it because this card shouldn't have existed in the first place so that's it um my top six that need to be addressed and or hit in some way all right so yeah i guess give me your list agreements disagreements reasons I'm gonna read all that and until next time forever's done